Okay, guys, here is our next set of relays with a runner on second base. I could also say this is the lead runner on second base. Really doesn't matter what's happening back over here on first base. Okay, the key part is that the lead runner, the runner is on second base. All right, so let's look at a situation when the ball is put in play and it's hit to left field. Here we go, guys. A little bit different than what you're used to. Third baseman, you're going to drop in right in here. Pitcher, you got a runner on second base, buddy. You have got to hightail it back behind the plate. Where is our throwing lane? We're not throwing the ball to third base. It is assumed with a base hit, this guy, he's got that bag. He's going to make his turn. Our third baseman, he's dropped in for the cutoff. That means our shortstop's got to come over here and cover our bag. Second baseman, you've got this bag. First baseman, you know that it's a base hit to left field. Plays more than likely not going to involve you. So you're just going to kind of get out of the base runner's way, drift down in here, be ready for something to happen, but don't leave your bag. All right? He's, going to, he's got his base hit. He's made his turn. Center fielder. You're over here backing up. Right fielder, find your place right back there behind second base. Where is our throwing lane? Right there. Right there. Okay, that is our throwing lane. Outfielders, hit your cutoff man every time. We're not throwing big old lollipops in here, okay? We're going to make a sharp throw, maybe a one-hopper. Boom. Third baseman comes up with it, all right? We're going to keep, uh, you know, maybe he's gone on and scored, all right? The reason why we've got to have that cutoff, what if this guy wants to take advantage thinking that ball's going into home plate? we got to be prepared to make this throw. That's why our right fielder has got to be in this throwing lane. See that? All right. Good job, guys. I know y'all can do that. Let's reset it, and let's uh, look at the situation with a base hit to center field. Lead runners on second base. Base hit to center field. Okay. Right fielder's backing that business up. Here we go, guys. First baseman, you got to be ready. You got to get there. Pitcher, you got a lead runner on second base. He's going home. Get back here. Third baseman, you got the bag. Second baseman, you're not coming in here. You're not the cutoff. You got to get over here and cover first base. Left fielder, make your way in. Okay? Get back here behind third base. Shortstop, be ready. Stay in this area. All right? Um, maybe stay up here closer to second base in case if there's a rundown. All right. Where is our throwing lane? Let's find it. Right there. First baseman, get your hands up big. Let them know where you're at. Let them know where you're at. Outfielders, one hop it. Boom, right there. One hop or hit him in the head. All right. Um, of course, he's going to make his turn. Base hit. He's going to be trying to score. We're going to get him back by executing a perfect relay. Okay. Let's look at this with a base hit to right field. Here comes the pitch. <clears throat> we got our runner on second base. Right fielder. What if, he, what if that's down the line and he gets in front of it there? First baseman, you got to drop in right in here. Why? Here's our throwing lane. Got it? Got it? Okay. Second baseman, you've got the bag. Shortstop, drop in right in here. Third baseman's here. Left fielder comes in. Center fielder's over here. Pitcher, you're on this side of the plate. Guys, Runner on second base. That's how we do relays.